this is a film that brings us back to the Shark Boy and Lava Girl world. <laughs> It's Kristen, and today we are talking about Netflix's new movie, We Can Be Heroes. Written and directed by Robert Rodriguez, when alien invaders kidnap Earth superheroes, their children must team up and learn to work together if they want to save their parents and the world. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on We Can Be Heroes. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, I think the first thing we have to talk about is that this is a film that brings us back to the Shark Boy and Lava Girl world. It's not an actual like sequel sequel, but it takes Shark Boy and Lava Girl and brings them back into this bigger superhero world. I got a chance to speak to Robert Rodriguez about where the inspiration for this came from, so I'll let him take it away. Basically, Netflix asked me if that would make them a family film. They loved uh, Spy Kids and Shark Boy always did really well on their surface. They would see how much kids would watch it and rewatch it and really surprise them. So they asked if I would make something original for them. Um, at first I even pitched them like, well, why don't we remake or reboot those? And they said, no, we want something original. So I went, okay, I, I had an idea already in mind with superheroes called We Can Be Heroes, came up with that. I wrote a script, gave it to them. Once they loved it and wanted to go ahead and make it, that's when I got the idea. Because I made up a bunch of superhero kids, but I just wished one of them had shark strength or lava strength because that, that worked really well 15 years ago. So I wanted one kid to have the power. So I went ahead and like they spiral, borrow Spider-Man sometimes for an Avengers movie from Sony. I borrowed Shark Boy and Lava Girl as parents so I could have this little super kid. So it was really its own world. And then we brought um, them in just to kind of legitimize the adult superhero team and to give me a special girl. So that's really shoehorning that dream world into my new world here. I had this movie first and then I brought them over just to, to, to add into the fun. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, maybe down the line, we'll get like a, an even bigger world, bringing the spy kids in <laughs> your own cinematic universe. Yeah, the Rod Rodriguez verse. If you want to see more of my interview with Robert Rodriguez, I will leave a link right over here. Of course, there's no going around it. You know, obviously Taylor Dooley, who was Lava Girl, came back to be in this movie, but Taylor Lautner did not come back to reprise his role as Shark Boy, which I think is a bit of a downer, but I really, really had so much fun with We Can Be Heroes. I think it has that classic Robert Rodriguez vibe to it, the way that he, it's very colorful and bright. Like, it reminds me of Spy Kids, which is one that I grew up with a little bit more than Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And our main character is a Latina, and that's one of the things I really love about Robert Rodriguez's projects is that a lot of them feature Latinos and Latino families because that's his background, and, you know, I think that that representation is so important. And we're in this world where these kids of superheroes now have to take charge and it's kind of that idea of the next generation is going to be the one taking on the mantle when it comes to how our world works. This was like a fun way with a superhero twist to kind of show that. I also really love that our main character Missy doesn't have a power. You know, I think as you're watching you kind of think, oh, okay, so like she's gonna realize what her superpower is eventually, right? But I think that there is something really powerful in showing that this Latina's superpower isn't super it's just a power that she has within herself, her power of leadership, and I thought that was a really great message as well. And we really get a chance to see these kids from different backgrounds all come together and become a team, and that that's what we need in this world is for people to just come together and we can make a huge difference. We can be the change we want to see. We have a secret weapon. Teamwork. Of course, we also get to meet Shark Boy and Lava Girl's daughter, Guppy. She is so cute. My mommy is Lava Girl, but my dad is Shark Boy. So instead of lava, I move water. Played by Vivian Lyra Blair, who you might recognize from Bird Box. She played Girl. And I love seeing her powers that kind of combine Shark Boy and Lava Girl's abilities. She's just too precious. And I think it was a really great way to be able to focus on a new character, but still kind of have that connection to something nostalgic that we know. She's got shark strength! We also have some other big names in this project, Pedro Pascal, Priyanka Chopper Jonas, Christian Slater, but I have to say the kids are really the focus here and I think that they do a really great job. They really dive into each of their character traits and each of their personalities and each of their superhero abilities and I just think that this was really successfully done. It made me feel like that nostalgia and that joy that I had when I watched projects like Spy Kids. I also think that there are a couple of twists and turns that you won't be expecting that are really fun and satisfying in the end. 
they definitely kind of caught me by surprise. It wasn't what I thought was going on, and I really enjoyed that. I think that this project will keep you guessing and, and just keep you rooting for this little team of superhero kids. I will say, though, I think there might have been a little bit too many kids, and I just think it would have been a little bit tighter if maybe there was, like, six at the most. Like, there was just a lot of kids that we were following, and some of them kind of had powers, and I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But overall, you did get to see what happens when a diverse group of people who might not agree at first come together and are able to work through their differences for the greater good. When it comes down to it, this was really fun. It definitely checks off that nostalgia box. I love the colors and the aesthetic and sort of like the way that Robert Rodriguez coats his kids' movies with this like very bright, over-the-top type of coloring and and special effects there's just something about that to me that like screams Robert Rodriguez like if you were to just take a screenshot out of context I'd be like yep that's a Robert Rodriguez project and I think that's really cool there was a lot of great messages here I love that we we're following a Latino family we even get to see the abuela coming in and kicking butt getting to see that message of just like people uniting despite their differences and working together I think that was really powerful to to see that like even as a kid you can help change the world and you definitely get that feeling of like you know you you can make a difference even if you don't have a superpower. I think families are really gonna enjoy watching this for Christmas. It's a fun movie to watch with your whole family. If you like this one, you can check out more of my Netflix reviews right over here, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya!